What's up guys, Ben Brewster from Tradiflex. This is the level one through 10 bullpen sequence to gradually add complexity to a pitcher's bullpens to more closely uh, simulate the environments they're gonna be facing in season. So level one, this would basically be doing mound work into a net, five ounce ball or, or weighted balls, either up close or 55, 60 feet away, primarily fastball, take strike throwing out of the equation, just focusing on mechanics and velocity. Level two would be standard bullpen to a catcher. So again, we're now adding the catcher to the equation. We're just gonna be focusing here on middle, middle, fast balls, not throwing off speed, not working on location as much to start. Level three would be a standard bullpen, all pitches. And so again, this is what most pitchers are comfortable doing. Great place to start, depending on where you are in the off season, calling your own pitches, a mixing fastball, change up, breaking ball, whatever your off speed pitches are. Level four, huge low hanging fruit for a lot of pitchers, a stand in bullpen, having some sort of stand in hitter in the bullpen, changing that visual stimulus to be a lot closer to what you're going to be facing in a game situation. Level five would be a stand in bullpen with counts. So now as opposed to calling your own pitches, make it more game like and the catcher calls the pitches and you're also also keeping counts. There's a hitter in there and you're mixing your pitches. It becomes a little bit more game-like in that standpoint. Level six would be a ghost runner pen. So it's just like the level five bullpen, but now you're adding in the complexity of having base runners on base. You can't perfectly simulate it. The catcher will, will also be able to call checking the runner. So you're going to be mixing looks. You're going to be mixing your holds in for the ghost runner pen. Level seven is the heckle pen. It can really be fun if your teammates kind of heckle, heckle you while you're throwing. You want to tell you, you smell like cigarettes and mayonnaise, Scott? Anything and everything is kind of fair game here. They're just trying to distract you. Great preparation for any sort of loud crowd noise or fans heckling you in the season. These ain't the 1947 hitters you're used to facing, old man. I have nothing to say. No, that was good. That was a good pitch. Level eight would be the consequence or streak bullpen. You would have a prescribed number of innings that you would be throwing. Maybe it's one, two, or three innings, you know, in sequences of trying to get three outs as opposed to a certain number of pitches for your bullpen. However, you have to stop the inning if you surrender a walk or if you get three strikeouts. Level nine would be live batting practice, starting to get more game specific here, keeping counts, mixing your pitches, mixing wind up, stretch, and slide step if you have it. Level 10, inner squad. Now we're contending with, you know, fielders. We're contending with the game situation. We're contending with real runners in a true uh, game scenario outside of the obvious, you know, real game versus kind of a, an inner squad game. So level 11 would be finding a way to add a little bit of pressure to the inner squad. Start with a runner on second base, or you could start every hitter with a 1-0 count. Or again, you could have your teammates heckle and distract you from the stands while you're trying to execute pitches. Just trying to figure out ways to better prepare pitchers for the stress and the game-like environment that they're going to be facing in season versus just cruising year-round in level three bullpens and really not getting as much out of those bullpens as they could. So hopefully you guys got something out of that video. Again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a ton of ways to make practice more challenging. Hopefully this gave you guys some ideas and let me know what you think down below.